everybody, I'm back. Everybody, Jeannie Young is back and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited, yet another day, because today at the Young's house, Jeannie Young is going to share with you all how easy it is to make delicious cabbage mixed with collard greens. This recipe right here, it's amazing. It's so easy to make. It doesn't require a lot of ingredients and you know, make it Jeannie Young style, it's gonna be so tasty. Y'all never had my cabbage mixed with collard greens before. Better make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you will need. The first thing that you will need is some bacon. Now listen here, never worry for those of you that don't eat pork. You don't have to use bacon if you don't want to. You could use like a turkey bacon if you wanted to, or like a beef bacon, or beef sausage, or something like that, okay? So don't freak out. We're gonna use some bacon. You're gonna need some collard greens. So I have some collard greens, and they're sitting in my sink because I have washed them off with some salt and cold water. Now, you will need some cabbage. Now, I cut up two and a half heads, small heads of cabbage. You're gonna need some vegetables so we can make this thing taste amazing. We're gonna use a little tiny bit of red bell pepper, some green bell pepper. You're gonna need a nice sweet Vidalia onion. And you cannot have, at least at the Young's house, you can't have cabbage and greens without some rice on the side. Now, if you make your way over this way, you're gonna need a couple of spices. So right here, we have some red pepper flakes. We have some onion powder, black pepper, uh, I'm sorry, garlic powder, black pepper, onion powder, salt. We have some apple cider vinegar, which is optional, and some sugar. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple, yet so tasty recipe. I couldn't be more excited to share with you all this recipe. This recipe is easy. Like I said earlier, it doesn't require a lot of ingredients. Listen here, it's packed with flavor. If you all are looking for um, something a little different for the holidays, but you want it to be a vegetable, a side dish, this right here is going to really wow everybody this Thanksgiving. Trust, trust me when I tell you. Okay, so what we're going to do, first thing that I want to do is I want to cut up some of the bacon. You can do it two ways. You know, you could just throw this in the oven if you wanted to, get it nice and golden brown, or you can chop it up like this, and I'm going to put it on top of the stove, and I'm going to you know, uh, render it down and get it golden brown. So I, I don't know how many pieces I have, but honestly, I will tell you, this is about a half a pack of bacon. Okay, I want for mine to be loaded. And like I said, feel free to use like a turkey bacon or a turkey sausage, you know, a beef sausage, something like that, if you do not eat pork. Because I know a lot of times when I do uh, recipes a lot of people say oh no there's pork in it I'm not gonna try you can still try it try it with turkey or beef okay so now um, we're gonna cut this bacon up just like so and let's go ahead and get it into the pan right now and get it to browning okay I'm gonna kind of you know take the pieces apart a little bit so they can brown if you keep it clumped up it's just gonna steam you know and I'm going to cook it on a medium-high heat until uh, everything is nice and crispy. And now, as far as the oil that comes out of the bacon, save some of that oil because you can put some of that oil into uh, your dish. But as far as all of it, you're not going to use all of it because that would create an oily dish. I'm going to wash my hands, and I'll be right back to show you all what you need to do next. So I wanted to show you all the uh, pieces of cabbage that I previously washed, and I've cut it down, okay? It's pretty simple to cut the cabbage down. Honestly, if you haven't saw me cut a cabbage down before, feel free to go over to one of my cabbage videos and I show you in detail how to do that. Okay, so now here's what we're gonna do. I do show you a little piece on here, how I like to cut it. I hope that you all are having an amazing day today. I am really getting in the holiday spirit, making all of these holiday dishes for you guys. And the dishes are amazing. And what I love about the dishes is that they're so easy to make. You know, like nothing that I make here in this kitchen and put make it into a video, nothing is hard, it's all so easy. 
All right, so here's what we're gonna do. And what I make sure that I do is I make sure that I show you all in detail exactly what you're supposed to do, why you would want to do such thing, and why you wouldn't wanna do something when cooking. You know, to try to make it a little bit more understandable for those of you that are not cooks. Okay, so I'm gonna use a little bit of red bell pepper. The purpose for the red bell pepper is to give it color. Yeah, the red bell pepper does have somewhat of a strong flavor, so you don't want to use too much. I feel like that right there, that's enough. Let's just throw it right in, right on top of that cabbage, okay? And then what we're going to do, same thing with the green bell pepper, but I'm going to use a little bit more. All right, just like so in this manner. Let me know in the comment section below, have you all ever had cabbage and greens mixed together. Now when you're making a cabbage and green mix, you can use any kind of greens. If you wanted to use kale or mustard or turnip greens, you know, I'm using collard today. That's what I feel like goes really, really, really delicious with the cabbage. And what I do is I kind of mix in some of the ingredients that I would use for my collard greens into this recipe. And, and two of those ingredients would be my vinegar. And also, I forgot to tell you guys, we will be using a little bit of sugar. My sugar and the red pepper flakes. Those are some of the ingredients that I like to use when I'm making collard greens. And then along with the garlic and onion powder, the black pepper and salt is what I always use in my cabbage. And then you mix the two and then you have a match made in heaven. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, so now that we have the green bell pepper nice and chopped up, I do want to bring in another ingredient that I almost forgot to tell you all about. But guess what? It's never too late. When I come back, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I wanna cut some onion, <clears throat> excuse me, but we're not using a whole lot. Just that little bit will do the trick. It's gonna give us an amazing flavor. Like I said, guys, listen, this recipe is definitely something you can make for the holiday and you can feed so many people with it. And it's honestly like, who doesn't love greens? Everybody loves greens. Who doesn't love cabbage? Everybody loves it. Put the two together and you have, voila. <laughs> that might not be the right word, but listen. So we got our cabbage, we have our bell peppers and onions, and the ingredient that I told you I do want to add is chicken broth instead of water, okay? I'm going to put some chicken broth in there. This is 32 ounces, and right now I plan on using a half of this um, container. So I can feel that I've used around about a half of it, so we'll just set that aside. If you want more liquid in yours, put more liquid in. But if you don't have... Um, a chicken broth sitting around the house, take your bouillon cube, put it in some hot water, you got broth. Or just season up your water very well. So now let's take a peek in over here at our bacon. It's starting to sizzle up. When I come back, I'm gonna get started seasoning our cabbage and vegetables, and I'm gonna show you how I like to break down the greens and put them into the cabbage. There's nothing like the smell of bacon. It smells so good in here right now. And all we're cooking is the bacon. Now, uh, like I said, we are gonna cook some rice on the side. And then also, uh, I don't know if y'all can see that I made some cornbread. So we're gonna have some cornbread muffins along with this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I typically like to use like two capfuls of the apple cider vinegar. For those of you, there's a lot of people that are really not fans of vinegar. If you don't like it, just leave it out and it'll still be delicious, okay? So now we're gonna use some onion powder. Don't be afraid to season, guys. Listen here, you are making cabbage and greens and guess what, it needs some seasoning. If you don't put enough, it won't be flavorful. It just won't. We're gonna put some salt in, not too much. And we're gonna put some garlic powder. So, so far we've put onion and garlic powder and salt in our vinegar and some red pepper flakes. What is greens without red pepper flakes, okay? And then we're gonna use some black pepper just like so. And then several times what we are gonna do is taste this to see if it needs more seasoning. Anytime you're cooking, you wanna taste your food because you wanna know what you're feeding to your loved ones. I feel like the pepper is gonna make me sneeze. <laughs> so, so if I say I'll be back and the camera cuts off really quickly, that's why I had to sneeze. Two pinches full of sugar. Is the sugar gonna make this sugary? Nope. 
Don't worry about that, I promise you. It is gonna give it like an umami taste, okay? So now, here's what we're gonna do. Pick on the bacon. The bacon is doing exactly what I want it to do. But then we're gonna make our way over to the sink and I wanna show you how I like to cut my greens and incorporate them into our cabbage. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna show you all how to, um, I guess the word would be how to clean a green. What I've done was I've taken my sink and I've cleaned my sink out very impeccably clean. That's the first thing you wanna do. Then you, when you bring your greens home, you set them into cold water with salt. Salt is like an abrasive and you kind of rub the salt onto the greens like this and you um, soak the greens in cold water, you drain it, you put more water in, you drain it again, you keep putting more water in, you keep draining it until that water becomes nice and clear. That means your greens is clean. So what I like to do is there is a vein here. Some people eat the vein, and there's a million people that's gonna tell me, oh no, Gina, eat the, eat the stem because it has nutrients. I take the stem out. If you don't wanna take the stem out, leave it in. <laughs> it's not gonna hurt me if you leave it in. All right, so what I like to do, take the stem out, and this is what you're left with, okay? So then you would take your green, and honestly, when you're making greens, you fold it up, roll it up like that, or you can tear it. I like to fold mine up. I'm gonna give it a cut that way, and then we're gonna cut it this way, and guess what? That's what you do with greens. That's how greens are prepared, at least here at the Young's House, that's how they're prepared. Now I'm just putting them here, right into my cabbage and my veggies and the onions. Let me stir this bacon really quickly and we'll do the other one just because I know there's somebody out there that's going to say, I didn't get to see it. So now once again, we're going to pull that vein off, holding on to the actual greens itself. There we go. Get rid of that. We're going to take this and fold it. Be right back. Same thing. Once again, we've rolled it. We've taken the stem out. You cut it long ways and then we'll cut it this way and voila. So I have about, I, want, I guess I'm gonna use about six or seven large pieces of collard greens to put in with our cabbage. So I'll do that off camera and then I'll be back. And by the time I come back, this bacon will be nice and golden brown and I'll show you how much of the oil that we'll keep and how much we'll get rid of. So now what I've done was I have cut, um, I want to say like six big pieces of greens and we put it on top of the cabbage, the vegetables, the onions, and all of the spices. And then I've taken some of the um, oil from the bacon out of the pan, okay? So now I'm left with a little bit of oil. Hold on, guys, one of the dogs have to use the bathroom. He's scratching at the back door. Give me a second. <laughs> So you all can see that I got my rice going. My rice will be done literally within five minutes. And what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna try to stir this right now because it's so high. If I stir it, everything's gonna go flying out of my pan. So what you do is honestly, you wait till it cooks down because it's gonna cook down. It's gonna cook down a whole lot. Once it cooks down, then you can go in and stir it around. And like I said, Make sure you taste it, taste it so you can season it so you know what you're feeding to your loved ones. But one thing we are gonna do is we're gonna cover this. I have a lid, but I don't feel like looking for it. <laughs> so I'm gonna cover it so that cooking process can get started. We're gonna cook this on a medium high heat and when it's done, I'll be back. And here are the cornbread muffins that we're gonna have alongside of our dinner tonight. So now what we've done, you can see that everything has cooked down. I was able to stir everything up. And then what I did, I went ahead and reseasoned. okay? So we're just waiting a good 35 to 40 minutes. Our dish will be done. I'll say an amazing prayer. You all are going to get that first bite. This has been cooking for 40 minutes. I've tasted it. The taste is amazing. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and let it cook for a full hour. And we've been simmering this on low, covered up the whole time. Take a look at it, everybody. Gina Young style cabbage and greens mix. Make you some, make you some for your holiday. Take a look at this gorgeous plate that we have here. So we have our cabbage and greens mix over top of white rice. We got the sweet potatoes that we made earlier, and then we have some cornbread on the side.
Listen here, everybody. If you all enjoyed this here video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting on? Tell your family and friends and everyone you know. Tell the whole world about Gina Young, what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Let's say a quick prayer so you all can take a bite. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we want to thank you once again for a beautiful day today, for loving and protecting us and keeping us safe. We pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper. And we bind the devil away from us in Jesus' name. Devil, you have no authority over this household. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the roof over our head, the food, the love, the peace and the joy you bring us every day. Amen. Amen. Once again to my beautiful prayer. I know, I know. All you need is the turkey and some gravy. And guess what? You're pretty much set with this plate right here. Okay, so my two favorite things. You cannot go wrong with cabbage and greens. And use what kind of greens you like, you know? I'm going in for that rice because I want the rice. I want the meat. Oh, 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 oh. yes, look at this. <laughs> I'm going in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's so good. <laughs> you guys have to try it. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And as always, God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. Good night.